<laughs> Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome to Line by Line. Uh, today with uh, Manuel, we are analyzing a wonderful song uh, by Kelly Clarkson, Because of You. Yeah, let's get to it. Yeah. I will not make the same mistakes that you did. I will not let myself cause to my heart so much misery. I will not break the way you did. You fell so hard. I have learned the hard way to never let it get that far. Because of you, I never strayed too far from the sidewalk. Because of you, I learned to play on the safe side, so I don't get hurt. Because of you, I find it hard to trust, not only me, but everyone around me. Because of you, I'm afraid. I lose my way, and it's not too long before you point it out. I cannot cry, because I know that's weakness in your eyes. I'm fo focused to fake a smile, a laugh, every day of my life. My heart can't possibly break when it wasn't whole to start with. I watched you die. I heard you cry every night in your sleep. I was so young. You should have known better than to lean on me. You never thought of anyone else. You just saw your pain. And now I cry in the middle of the night from the same damn thing. Because of you, I try my hardest just to forget everything. Because of you, I don't know how to let anyone else in. Because of you, I'm ashamed of my life. Because it's empty. Because of you, I'm afraid. Wow, that's uh, sad. Yeah. Heavy and very relatable song. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I wonder how many people can relate to it somehow. It seems to be like a very common problem. Yeah, so, so the backstory is that she's talking to to her parents, right? So mm -hmm. there's there's this this thing that, that her parents put her in the situation and she's trying to overcome it. But yeah, she's she's having a hard time. So uh, the first line. I will not make the same mistakes that you did. Well, that, that's a big one. <laughs> yes. Um, well, on the positive side, she learned. <laughs> the hard well, way. Well, yeah. She, she, well, she learned what is wrong. She, she hasn't learned what is right yet. So that, um, that's, that's hard, right? So... And we just take the line outside of the context, right? Like everybody uh, grows up and looks at their parents if they have them and then their parents do stuff. And, and they're everything that you know in some sense, right? Like they're your whole world. And, and at a certain point, you, you see things that don't work. And you're like, okay, like, I need to make sure that that doesn't happen to me. So I, I think that everybody has that on, mm -hmm. so, on some level. Um, what do you think, Norbert? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, we also learn uh, uh, what effect uh, negative parenting has on us. Right, and we are able to empathize later on with uh, others. 
or not like it, it's there is two ways to do it like one is to excuse yourself that behavior um, and and like do the same thing and the other way to go is to know that it's shit <laughs> and like it mm -hmm. never do it yeah, so yeah uh, from that first line i feel like she decided that it's wrong and that mm -hmm. she decided she will not do the same mistakes yeah, and, and that goes into the idea of, of identifying against, right? So, so now it's like, okay, it's like there's the bad, so I don't want to be in the bad. So now mm -hmm. you, you move away, but like, where do you move, right? Like, how do you do the right thing? Because, because if you if you just focus on on trying not to do the bad thing, mm -hmm. then you spend all your energy and attention in in relation to to the bad thing. And now you, you can't start doing the good things, right? So there's there's this this tension there where, where it's like, yes, you should avoid this this pattern, especially because it's really deep inside of you. But you have to be careful not to create new patterns, right? That that are just as bad, but just different. Um, so so that's that's my worry there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I will not let myself cause my heart so much misery i will not break the way you did i think here she talks uh, about uh, hiding her pain uh, so she would she would harden her heart uh, but uh, how i don't know how it connects to the first line of course, this is a mistake. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will not let my unless unless the reason for her to harden her heart. Cause so much misery. Okay. Cause well, to whom? Yes. Um, so, so maybe I'll I'll give my interpretation. So. Yeah. The, the, there, there's there's two ways that you can you can see it right like so i i think what what she she's talking about is like okay you were in pain and because you were in pain you started doing things that you did you didn't want to do right like bad bad things the mistakes mm -hmm. and so in, in order for me not to get to that place i need i need to protect my heart right like i i need i need to not be in in this emotional state all the time mm -hmm. and and that's that's the way uh to the solution right and and obviously there's two ways to get there right like one is to harden your heart and and to close yourself off mm -hmm. and the other one is to open your heart and and to resolve the issues right that you you can actually live live in that space um and and so yeah like in some sense it's open which which way she's going um, although I will not let my break, my not break the way that you did, uh, is mm -hmm. is implying more the hardening side than uh, the opening up. Yeah, that's what I read in that line. You fell so hard. I have learned the hard way <laughs> to never let it get that far. Yeah, I think uh, she wants to convey here that uh, she decided to be closed off from from pain and she's she talks in the past tense so i think uh, she tells the story of first outcome like of the first reaction let's say first traumatic kind of uh, lesson that she learned but she learned it um she learned that she needs to be closed off and not to feel pain. Mm -hmm. That's what I read into it. To never yeah, let it get that far. So if if uh, for the first uh, sign of whatever her parents went through, she was just like, well, oh, fuck that shit. No, nope. my my heart is closed. I'm not letting that far by. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that's that's the outcome. Like. And uh, because she tells it in at the beginning uh, of the song, this means there will be a development from here. 
I think she implies that it's a wrong way to do it. Mm -hmm. In the sense, like just just seeing the place. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely laying the ground at the start of the song. Um, and uh, what 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 I thought of is she learned right, but mm -hmm. she didn't learn from the perspective of her mother, right? She she learned from the perspective of a child, and and she's drawing conclusions from the perspective of a child, and mm -hmm. so. In, in some sense, what, what she learned isn't really the lesson, right? Like it's don't get the result. Um, so yeah, that, 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 that's a hard place to be, right? Because you, you, you still don't, you still don't have the experience and, and, and the understanding of, of, of what could be and, and how to react. You only know how, like there's a bad place. Don't go to the bad place. So it's it's like a slice on her heart, uh, but instead of healing it, she would like yeah, like let me just make my heart super hard. Like she would put shields around her heart, so she the slice she would not be sliced mm -hmm. anymore. Instead of healing or processing yeah, and, 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 it or transforming. Yeah, and, and that that's what you do with danger, right? Like. When, when you have a house and you have a garden around it, right? you, you build a gate around the garden to keep the outside out. And, and that doesn't always work. Um, and, and it cannot work forever, right? Like at, at some point something happens and then you have to deal with it. And now because you, you never figured out how to deal with things, it's, it's really big, right? Like it, it, you, you can't handle it. Because of you, I never stray too far from the sidewalk. Because of you, I learned to play on the safe side, so I don't get hurt. Yeah. So this is the outcome. Well, I think she, after she uh, grew up, uh, she starts to to look for guilty parties, <laughs> let's say. Like she became this hardened person and now she actually identifying who, who is the cause of it, right? Mm -hmm. Good thing is like, just to put a positive thing here. Um, after you identify that, after you name the beast, uh, there is a way to slay it. So next mm -hmm. step would be forgiveness in a sense, or, or kind of even finding something positive in it. Like what that gave you in a sense. Mm -hmm. Is there a hidden gift in that pain? Mm -hmm. Projection. <laughs> so I, I, I really like these two lines because mm -hmm. like, she probably literally learned not to stray from the sidewalk and she also literally learned to play on the safe side but but not straying from the sidewalk also metaphorically means you don't go to the places where there's danger right side, sidewalk is safe the cars are on the street you're not and and when you go on the street now, now you have to deal with traffic right like now you're in in, in the danger zone and I, I learned to play on the safe side so I don't get hurt, right? Like that's, yeah, that's probably also with, with the street, right? Like maybe there was like uh, a safe side of the street. And um, yeah, when, when, when you have that in, in, in real life, right? Like mm -hmm. you, you play on the safe side, that, that, that means that you don't take risk, right? So again, yeah. you, you're closing yourself off from, from new experience, uh you, you you're closing yourself off uh from, from... strong feelings too uh, as well right like the mo yes. like the moment she feels little it's safe the moment she feels more she's immediately closed mm -hmm. off and like no nope, no nope, that shit is too big for me no nope. right and 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 then when, when you have that right like that reaction then you mm -hmm. you never get the experience right like you you, you never get the ability to to relate to these things. And, and I think we all have that, 
right? Like we all have some area in our life where we, where we're like, ooh, no, no, <laughs> Let, let's go easy here, right? Like uh, maybe 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 go the other way. Uh, and and yeah, right. Like so, she's she's putting that back in connection to to her parents. Um, yeah. And and in in some sense, and this is the sense I get from the song so so far. It's like mm -hmm. everything that she does is in relation to her parent, right? Like the way that she's thinking, the way that that she's deciding what's safe, right? Like all all of that is in relation to what her parents did. And still for me, it's uh, naming the beast before you slaying it. Mm -hmm. Like the moment you name, identify where the problem came from, you are able to resolve it. So uh, it's not good to be stuck in this, like because of you, because of you, because of you. It's like, it's really, uh, it's just the beginning of growth and healing, let's mm -hmm. say. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. There's no way. Finding where it hurts and bleeds. Let's say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, you don't want to cut the head of the hydra. That, that's a <laughs> bad tactic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because of you, I find it hard to trust not only me but everyone around me. Because of you, I am afraid. Yeah, that, that just like blasts me like, ooh, I wouldn't want to hear that from anyone. <laughs> like that, that's not a good message to hear as a parent. Um, man. Yeah, this is powerful. Not only as a parent, even as a human being. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, but but still, still healable. Like you can you can get over it <laughs> at some point. Yeah. So so um, so I think the trusting yourself is 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 in relation to. Well, yeah, this this hyper focus on not making mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. And and knowing your limitations, right? Like like she. So she she has this sense. Of I cannot not be my mother, right, or, or, or my parents, right, because it's hard, right? Like it's 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 hard to 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 grow out of that, right? And and then and then when that's really 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 important to you, then you'll you'll just keep failing, right? And then it's like oh my god, like I I can't rely on myself not to do these things, like I, I just keep slipping back. So and then. Go ahead. It's this constant uh, feeling of fear, right? And uh, mm -hmm. uh, you're afraid to to move on away from the sidewalk. You're afraid to trust people. You you even not do not trust yourself because at some point you will you might end up like your parents, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so. So this is an outcry, in a sense. Yeah. Yeah, and so I'm I'm trying to fit in the everyone, right? So like, I, I I get the not being able to trust the partner, right? Because the partner is is participating in the things going bad. Um, but but everyone, uh, that that that's a lot bigger, right? Like now now you're you're in a permanent state of anxiety, right? Like you're, you're, you're isolated uh, and, and yeah, you, you don't have a place of safety and yeah, you should be afraid. Like that's, that's not a good place to be. Yeah, if you picture that, that, uh, that little girl that uh, was growing up feeling unsafe around like unsafe parents, like, what other lesson could she had uh, uh, mm -hmm. learned, right? Unless she learned to overcome it <laughs> yep. and teaches everyone else to do it. Just like... Yeah, so, some people have this miraculous strength inside of them that, that they actually find a way. Um, mm -hmm. and, and 
I think I think that's usually connected to a person outside of the family, right? Like that supports them and guides them. Like Jesus. Um, <laughs> like, I, 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 I was more thinking about grandparents or an aunt or whatever or the, or the neighbor but uh, poor Jesus <laughs> hashtag Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Jesus if you want to get on the podcast we already yeah, uh, invited no, like, you we absolutely welcome you uh, Yeah, we, we prepared the porch uh, <laughs> yeah Again, girls do not trust Zeus, so <laughs> <laughs> I think he got skinnier. I don't know if he did. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, just like, uh, just for the context, Zeus is uh, our imaginary friend that we keep making fun of. Like he's just yeah, our but... punching bag. Um, yeah, but he's, he's, he's kind of facetious. It's like uh, Zeus does some, some bad things when he's let out of his cage. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's why you make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, that's the way that we heal his, his broken heart, <laughs> making fun of him. <laughs> I lose my way. And it's not too long before you point it out. That definitely sounds like parents. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The... <laughs> like a typical thing, like a, a parent, like, it's like, it's sort of like, oh, you can get there. We trust you. And she's like, did you just point out that I lost my way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a very sensitive. Mm. Yeah, it, that's the role of a parent, right? Like correcting you. Um, mm -hmm. Now, I, I do realize that the way that can happen can be positive or negative, but, but there's also this point, and, and I think I, I experienced that, right, where, where the tension in the relationship is, is such that, like, everything that's being said is, is interpreted in, in, in this negative way, right, like, um, and, and so I, I guess it's really important that when, when you, when you, you have criticism, uh, do it in a context where, where the solution uh, is, is present, right? Like uh, allow the, the good to manifest and, and also a way to get there. Um, Imagine this girl is hurt, right? Um, and she doesn't trust her parents. Like she's hurt by their behavior. She, she looked up to them, but then like they act shitty and she's like, oh my God, I don't trust them and anybody mm -hmm. actually and now those parents give her a good advice they're like spot on she's like already thinking the the minute in a in a hurtful way already like that's that's just like a, because she doesn't trust them mm -hmm. like, and, and, and she doesn't trust herself right so in, in a sense she, she also can't conceive of herself in mm -hmm. in the positive light yeah. I cannot yeah. cry because I know that's weakness in your eyes. I know that one. That comes from my childhood. Like, um, as, a, as a kid, uh, I, was, uh, I was not allowed to show weakness. Like, because parents were uh, not able to deal with weakness uh, somehow. The, otherwise, they would feel like they have done something wrong. So <laughs> as a child, sometimes you need to pretend that they did not do anything wrong. And you just, like, have to be this little hard-ass kid, Rorschach, kind of, from, <laughs> from Watchmen. Like, <sighs> so hard and mm -hmm. yeah so so there, there's a couple things going on there for me right so so first mm -hmm. of all like i can just imagine her, her mom right like we'll, we'll get into there she's she's like crying all the time and and then this kid comes right and then the kid is crying 
and and the mom just doesn't have the emotional energy to to deal with the kid and and then effectively says well deal with it right like and and <laughs> like the mom is like i was crying and my grandmother was comforting me now i'm a sissy <laughs> so now you <laughs> like now when you are crying deal with it <laughs> so 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 yeah like like i i i i can see see that dynamic um but but there I, again right like there, there's there's this part which which is obviously real and and then there's also this part where where she knows right so she's she's no longer checking right like she she's not not giving her mom the opportunity to be there for her uh, and she's she's isolating herself right like she's she's no longer trusting her mom to be there for her and exactly. in in that way she's cutting off the relationship right she she's cutting off the potential to to fix it uh because because now she she's taking care of herself right and then again she she's also not trusting herself so so she she feels also a little bit un, unable to uh to resolve her own issues mm. i'm forced to fake a smile, a laugh, every day of my life. Okay. Yeah. Everything is okay. Like a smile through pain. Mm -hmm. Like if you smile, uh, the problems will disappear. Or if you smile, you will trick your uh, your brain into thinking everything is okay. Also, it is a way to harden your heart, right? You mm -hmm. go um, and cover up pain with smile or jokes. Like this is this is really common. It's like a coping mechanism. You would laugh and smile. Uh, yeah, like I I actually ha had something like this in my life, mm -hmm. and for me it wasn't so much a coping mechanism, but it, it was more a protection, right? So when when you're smiling people think that you're okay, right? So they don't reach out to you. So they, mm. you, you, you don't have to deal with their care. You don't have to deal with their attention, right? Like you, you, can, you can just sit there and feel shitty and everything just keeps going on, right? So, so in, in some sense, it's like, it, it allows you to, to still be there, but, but you, mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't let people know what's going on inside of you. Um, and wow. yeah it and and I, I think that's connected to the trust right like like I, I, I think I didn't trust people to be there for me uh, I, I didn't I didn't trust people to to have the capacity to uh, oh. to share my, my struggle or something if I were to project my own experience as well, I would smile and laugh not to burden my parents. Like, mm -hmm. I would feel shitty, but because I know my parents have it hard, like I could see it. I would pretend that everything is okay, so they would not, um, they would not feel burdened by my, pro like, not, not to add to their bucket of problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would I would comfort my mom by saying everything is okay. I'm I'm happy. Everything is fine. I'm doing really well. And this one was not even coping. It was a lie to to help my parents to be a little bit happier. Acting mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's my yeah. first lesson in acting is actually was to make my parents feel better i i actually think mm -hmm. that i wasn't faking right like it, it wasn't that i was happy mm -hmm. but like the, the the meaning of the smile was different for me right like it, but you did have a happier childhood than i did <laughs> so <laughs> i i definitely did have a better <laughs> so, childhood than you did yeah that's that you were you were just a happier child 
<laughs> I, I was just smiling all the time in my childhood and it stuck. <laughs> yeah. oh, we are so broken on the inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. High five for broken people. <laughs> uh, my heart can't possibly break when it wasn't even hold to start with. Well, there you go. Broken people. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't blame the parents too hard. They also had it really shit. <laughs> Imagine your parents had even worse parents than <laughs> you did. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that that's probably true. Right? Like, yeah. There's a reason that people act the way that they do. And th there is a reason, like, our grandparents think that the next generations are snowflakier than the previous ones. <laughs> Hashtag snowflakes. Because uh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag stoicism. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> yeah, so, so... Yeah, she it's... thinks her heart is not whole to start with. Uh, yeah, that one needs a lot of healing and the regrowth of heart. Yeah, I, I think this is uh, going into expectations. Um, mm -hmm. Like when, when you go to the world with expectations, when, when they don't get met, then uh, you have to deal with it. Um, uh, then the solution to that, if you if you can't deal with it, you never find a good way to do that. Is to just not have expectations, right? Like, and then, oh, I I I didn't have an expectation, so my heart, I can't be disappointed, right? Like, I, I don't I don't have to resolve anything inside of me. Uh, but but yeah, at, at that point, right? Like, are are you really alive, right? Like, what mm -hmm. is is your is your heart whole? Like, are are you able to fully participate in life? I watched you die. I heard you cry every night in your sleep. Okay. I hope wow, she's that, not that... referring to actual death. Well, I think it's the broken heart, right? Like... Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that that's that's not not cool, right? Like when when you watch your parents die, but it's. It's not slowly. once, right? Like it's, yeah, well, it, it's slowly, but also every night, right? Like it, it, it's over and over and over again. Like just. Bring it even more down. Our parents oh, huh? will die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like and she, she got like an injection. <laughs> Immunization, maybe. It's not funny. I'm, I'm, I'm so not fine. <laughs> well, you're, you're coping, that's right. Yeah. So I, I heard you cry every night in your sleep. So, yeah, to go back to what are your parents, right? Like they're, they're your example, they're your whole world. Like they, they're what you know. And, and in some sense, when, mm -hmm. when people go out of sight and then change their affect, right? It, it's like a, a betrayal right it's like oh you were you were acting like this here um when when you're outside of sight you're you're acting differently mm -hmm. uh so, so you're not being honest with me um and 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 then i i can imagine that when you're that kid right like you, you want to fix it right like you you want to help your mom uh, and you can't Right, like she's, she's closed off her, her heart is broken I, I don't think honesty is a big issue for, for the kid I mean the fact that she's watching her die and cry that's the that's the thing that hurts most like fuck honesty but like this one the fact that, that uh, somebody is suffering right next to you and um, you cannot do anything like you feel helpless. 
that one is the, the hardest part, I think. Yeah, yeah, that, that's definitely the hardest mm -hmm. part. Uh, the reason I brought up honesty is because of the trust, right? Like you can trust people. Um, I think that's where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, like uh, uh, yeah, I think if we want to move on, like I, I learned. <laughs> I no, no, I I wanted to tell you like about this honesty thing, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, I'm able to trust people because I learned to understand why the things were happening. Like the first thing mm -hmm. that I learned is to understand where everybody else is coming from. And that taught me to trust people in a sense, like I would, would understand how they function. And this way, would, would, uh, this way it was really helpful. Mm -hmm. But, but in a sense, you're trusting a part of them, right? Or, or you're trusting your understanding of them. I'm trusting my understanding of them. Uh, it doesn't mean that I, okay, I do trust like, <laughs> like, I, like I get hurt, but I like, I still trust people. I, I noticed one thing that in general, people will not hurt you. Just like really mm -hmm. small amount of them, but spending your whole time being obsessed over if somebody will hurt you or expecting it from everybody just like will make you lose everything somehow mm -hmm. it's better to be hurt by by one out of hundred but still enjoy the rest 99 percent of people mm -hmm. and and this goes back to expectations right because why do you get hurt if someone breaks your trust well if it's really big then obviously that's mm. that's the problem right but if if it's smaller right like you you only get hurt if if you're you're having high expectations right but but if you're just doing the things to do the right thing and and you're expecting that the other person is flawed then uh you, you don't have to have the expectation right you, you can just embrace the good things that come to you and if if it doesn't work that's fine next time better Mm. I was so young, you should have known better than to lean on me. Okay, here she points out to the fact that she could not provide the emotional support that her mom required, perhaps. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, like I said, right, like, obviously, if your mom is struggling, you want to help. Um, and and I, I, I think the mom embraced that help. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but the leaning also goes into the previous part, right, where it's, I'm forced to fake, right, like this. Mm -hmm. There's, there's this element, right, like, I can't show weakness, right. So in, mm -hmm. in order for you to be okay, you expect me to to be a certain way, right? So it's it's, mm -hmm. it's not a direct leaning, but but it's in the implications of of the action. So so there's all of these requirements that you have to meet. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I see that in there as well. For me, it's hard to understand that line uh, somehow, because uh, on one side, uh, the mom do, uh, tries to hide the weakness. On the other side, she tries to, oh, I understand this phrase now. I get it. Uh, you should have known better than to lean on me. Uh, might mean that uh, the mother would say, you can deal with your shit and not support the daughter in a mm -hmm. sense. Like the leaning would mean mother not supporting the daughter and expecting daughter to be able to deal with... Uh, hardship on her own. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So uh, she, she says, I was too young for you to throw that much uh, burden onto me. Like, mm -hmm. like the daughter wanted to lean on the mother and mother is like, instead it was the other way around. Okay, I get it. 
Yeah, and, and, and maybe there was also some actual meaning, right? It's like, oh, yeah, you, you, you take care of dinner today, right? Because oh, okay. I can't. So, so yeah, yeah. Like it was a sort of literal leaning, like, you come and be my chair. <laughs> Yeah, let, let, let's let's not do it there. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> I, I was like, no, I remember baking bread when I was ten and making a full-on lunch and cleaning the entire apartment when I was like super small. Whereas my parents were not able to. to to deal with that. I was like, yeah, apartment's dirty, let's clean up. <laughs> like, so, yeah, that's maybe why I did not understand this phrase. Just like, yeah. My parents could always lean on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there's, there's a good element in the leaning, right? Because it allows you to, to become self-sufficient in some sense, yeah. right? But if it's too much, right? Like if, if, if there's too much asked of you, Mm -hmm. then it, yeah it becomes a burden and it stunts you um so there's a there's a golden middle road you never thought of anyone else you just saw your pain hashtag narcissism mm. Yeah, so I think a child was in a way, in a sense. Parents mm -hmm. were too focused on their own things. But, yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's really sad because mm -hmm. I think this is the description of herself. <laughs> Like I, I, I actually think that that the, the song so far is conveying the same sentiment, right? Like exactly. I, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> She's like only focusing on her pain, but like <laughs> you guys did that shit. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what she says. And now I cry in the middle of the night for the same damn thing. Like she acknowledges it. Yeah, good call. <laughs> As if you never read that song. <laughs> yeah. you, you think I remember? <laughs> Actually, I did not so. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's but it's a good yeah. connection though. Like it is a really good on spot on connection, and she made it just here. Yeah, which is which is a really big thing, right? It's like yeah. okay. I'm, I'm screwed, like I'm in the same pattern, right? So there, there's, when you're at that point, like you, you realize that there's a fundamental mistake, right? Like there's something mm -hmm. at the bottom that needs to flip in order to, to change the pyramid that you build. Um, I would, in that stage, advise uh, to remove gaze from yourself and to go into understanding uh, the other side, right? Like, mm -hmm. of course, if, if she will understand uh, the other side, she will be able to kind of unwind the same bad pattern in herself mm -hmm. or not. Like she will, it's a choice thing, thing. You have to work on that. Well, yeah, like I, I was gonna advise her to, to talk to her mom, right? And definitely get the, get their stories in in line right like okay you did this this one time like what was happening inside uh, of your head but again uh, if your mom is not open to it it's really important to do mm. it in a way without blame but coming yeah. from the place of healing it's like, mm -hmm. listen uh, now I'm growing up I I'm more I'm smarter now so I want to heal up some stuff and you are safe. Like I'm not blaming. Like the only thing I want is for us to bond. And um, yeah. And let's talk when you're ready, mom. Like in that sense, not to, not to kind of force 
the your drama onto your probably suffering still mom because if the person was suffering back in the day the f- like uh, the chances are it continues if people don't work on themselves mm-hmm. and, so and you have a good you way have to, to connect come from the place of understanding or like for for wishing to help the other person too not to only to help yourself like mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're, you're in the same boat, right? Like you're mm-hmm. struggling with the same thing. So in, in a I sense, both. Dave, <laughs> <laughs> you, you have an allyship, mm-hmm. right? Like, and, and that's the thing that, that you, you can lean on um, to go back to the leaning. Um, but yeah, like don't, don't force it. Uh, mm-hmm. if, if you're going to force it, like even, even if you're going to get answers, it, it won't be healing, right? Like it will just, uh, it will just be a justification of of your feelings, right? Like it's like, oh yeah, you 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 did that that time, and and I'm right to be upset about it, uh, and and that's that's not helping anyone. Um. And 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 also, it it already happened, right? So so getting upset about it is isn't going to work, and. You're no longer living in that house, right? Like so, so there's not a thing that needs to change mm-hmm. right now t- in order for you to be safe, right? Like so, that burden is also gone. Um, yeah. Because of you, I try my hardest just to forget everything. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that doesn't sound promising. (laughs) It's like that that's denial. No, but it also uh, means that she still remembers everything. Mm -hmm. She tries to forget it, but she does remember it. Because of you, I don't know how to let anyone else in. So uh, so the problem still continues like she is not healed at that point mm-hmm. well um, the question that came up for me is what are you letting them into right like like w- mm-hmm. what what place do you have in yourself for the other person to to connect to? And if, if you're if you're retreated, right? Like if you if you build walls, uh, if, if you're scared, then it's it's really hard for for the people to to make a connection to you. But it's also <laughs> the thing with walls and the thing with this sentence. I don't know how to let anyone else in. I know how to let people in. Uh, you have to not look at yourself for some time, but look at the other person. Like, just like, just like put yourself somewhere in far shelf and only see the other person. The moment you talk to the other person, you, you get uh, to know them better. That's how you let them in. But the wall would mean also that like the other person tries to talk to you and you're like, I'm only focused on my pain. I'm only focused on my fear. I only want you to hear me. Like, I only want you to uh, just like, be the recipient of my conversation instead of actually hearing somebody out. The way to let a person in is actually to see the other person. Uh, mm-hmm. like for who they are understanding them not what and you made up in your head you 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 said something really interesting right mm-hmm. i want you to hear me right but but that's not what's going on it, it's i want you to hear my pain right because mm-hmm. because the me is bigger than just the pain right mm-hmm. and and the thing that you're communicating is the pain right and 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 that's where where you're not allowing the person in, right? Like you're not allowing the person in to have a relationship with the whole of you, right? Like you, you're, you're 
you're, you're limiting it to to the connection in in the pain and and in some sense you you're you're not looking for the other person right yeah. you're you're looking for justification for for being in pain right it's like oh yeah you yeah, you're supposed to feel bad, effectively, right? Like, or you're it's looking okay for people bad. who would feel sorry for you to affirm your pain. You're like, you're mm -hmm. constantly in pain, and then you like talk, talk your pain, but without really listening to the other people. Like, you don't care if they like, like your story. Like, the, you you only want to hear the affirmation that that you have been done wrong, that you have the right to for your rage and stuff like that, mm -hmm. right? beautiful song uh, but it's like again just the beginning of healing after that point she needs to like really work on her way of dealing with things yeah and, and I, I want to talk a little bit about what you were talking about with with the letting the other person in right and in, in some sense it, it's not letting the other person in it's you crawling out <laughs> right like you you opening yourself up to, to make the connection with, with the other person. Um, and, and, and in some sense, giving them the stage to play upon um, and, and giving them the props, right? Like, like you, you participate in, in their story. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that's, that's the way to do it. Yeah. So, because of you, I'm ashamed of my life because it's empty because of you i am afraid yeah the life is empty because she did not let other people in mm -hmm. yeah and again uh, people will hurt you like the most important thing is to learn how to deal with that hurt then uh, just escaping, always being on the sidewalk. Um, and I don't mean it in, in the literal sense, yeah, be on the sidewalk, don't go in the dangerous places. But with life, it's, it's different. Like uh, sometimes people that hurt us actually make us stronger, better, uh, give us um, inspiration for uh, music and poetry. It's like we need that uh, somehow. Also hurt, the pain is a good motivator for happiness. Like if we feel it strongly, then we actually do our yeah. best to move towards uh, the good place but if you're always on the si sidewalk always in the middle always like safe there is nothing happening like there is no no let's say there is no action in your life <laughs> yeah it's apathy right like mm -hmm. it's in because it, it, if you're if you're always in the middle and, and you, you're never stepping yeah. out what you're saying is i don't care what's what's outside of the middle Mm -hmm. um, like I, I, I don't want to participate, and I, I got, I got this vision of, of being on the street and like dancing between the cars, right? Like dodging, like th this sense of action, right? Like mm -hmm. so, so, so what, what's on the side, on the side of the sidewalk? <laughs> it's, it's, it's action, right? Like mm -hmm. there's danger, there's excitement, there's possibilities, right? Like it, it's, it's all there. And, and in, in order to partake in that, you have to go there. And if, if you don't, yes, you feel empty, right? Because, because there's nothing to fill you up. Also, parents uh, do teach children to be on a safe side so they don't get hurt. Like this is the lesson parents try to convey to their children because parents are afraid for their children as well. Like, and... Uh, there were stories of uh, kids having bad outcome precisely because parents shielded them too much. The mm -hmm. Kids were too safe, and then when reality hit them, they could not deal with life at all. So, so yeah, uh, the best possible 
way to learn is to sometimes take risks and be able to kind of, okay, uh, I will tell example, right? Like I was doing a uh, horseback riding, uh, I was taking horse horseback riding lessons and I was getting at the beginning this absolutely mild, calm horse uh, named Sunset. And he would be obedient, he would go around circles. Then there came time for gallop and uh, it, it, it went in circles really well. It was absolutely okay, so everything is perfect. Then the teacher tells me, you need to learn to fall. You know the horse, it's, it's absolutely fine. You need to learn to fall. Otherwise, like you will not be able to gallop in the open, like, like when we will jump through hoops and stuff. And, and yeah, that, that was the biggest uh, problem, right? Uh, learning how to fall and get up uh, in this safe space. Mm -hmm. Like that, yeah. that one was the hardest lesson for me, for example. Because risking like that, yeah, just like that, that step. Yeah, so a couple things stand out in that story to me. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's the safe space, right? So when, mm -hmm. when you want to try, right? Like when you want to explore, you want to do it in, in a safe space, right? So you want to have a community of people around you that, that are able to support you if, if, mm -hmm. if you're in, uh, going into a bad place, right? Like socially, um, physically, right? Like it doesn't matter, right? Like it's, it, yeah. it's, it's all the same. You need, you, need, you need to have the safe space. And then the falling, right? Like what are you learning when, when you're learning to fall, right? Like you're, you're learning that if you're going really fast, on, on the flat ground or whatever, that you have, you, you don't have to worry about falling, right? So what are you doing? You're freeing up part of yourself that would be worrying so that you can pay attention to the riding, right? And now the chance that you'll fall is gonna decrease, right? Because, because you, you freed off this part of yourself, right? And what, what is going on with her in the song, right? Like, she, mm -hmm. she doesn't have that freedom, right? Like she, she hasn't freed up all of this, this tension in herself so that she can fully participate in, in what's going on. Mm. And okay. yeah, so the last part I, I maybe want to touch upon is, is mm -hmm. shame. Because um, she, she's living in shame, right? Which is, which is another barrier, right? If you want to resolve things, uh, you should accept them. You should come from a place of acceptance, not shame, because shame is another barrier, right? Like if you're, if you're ashamed, you, you first have to go through the shame and then you have to go through the problem, right? So now you have to deal with two things at the same time. Mm. Uh, so, so that doesn't sound good. Yeah, and the shame is also connected to staying on the sidewalk <laughs> rather mm -hmm. than running through the... I'm proud of myself. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, so let let's uh, summarize the song. What, what is our opinion? Um, I I feel like uh, she's she's still at the start. Like she, mm -hmm. she didn't get very far in in uh, resolving this issue. She, she got a high hill to climb. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a good thing that she already learned the, the, the guilty parties, so she can uh, kind of un unlearn it now <laughs> in the correct way. Yeah, she got the puzzle pieces. Um, yeah. Good song. Amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, very emotional, very touching. And, uh, hope people will learn from it something. Yeah, I think we, we gave a lot of valuable information. So I think, I think people will find use of it. Thank you, Manuel, for input. Thank you, everybody, for listening to us. And please uh, enjoy gifts of our sponsor, Free Time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
today we are analyzing um fuck again ow <laughs> fuck jesus that hurts okay i want to have the recording of that sure. oh <laughs> <laughs>